Recently, I watched a deeply moving and heartwarming film called How to Make Millions Before Grandma Dies. This Thai comedy drama opens with a poignant scene at a gravesite during the Qingming Festival, also known as Tomb Sweeping Day. It's a fitting beginning for a story steeped in themes of family legacy and honoring those who came before us, a beautiful setup that eventually circles back to the gravesite in the film's final scene. This mirrored start and finish is a powerful technique often used by seasoned filmmakers, underscoring the cyclical nature of family and life itself. The story begins with Grandma and her adult children So, King, and So I, along with So's son M, a university dropout. As they gather to celebrate the Qingming festival, Grandma expresses her wish for an extravagant burial plot. Soon after, a sudden fall leads to her being diagnosed with late-stage stomach cancer. Her family decides to keep the diagnosis from her, and M, motivated by inheritance, steps in to become her caretaker. Driven initially by selfish intent, he even lists her house for sale before moving in, but his plans start to shift as he takes on her role as a kanji vendor, bonding with her in unexpected ways. As grandma's condition worsens, tensions arise during a family gathering where M reveals her diagnosis. This revelation leads to her children making offers to help, but M begins to doubt their motives. King, a wealthy stockbroker, tries to take over her care, yet Grandma chooses to stay with M, recognizing his genuine concern. Amidst these family dynamics, Grandma learns that her son Soai has stolen money to pay off gambling debts, but M covers for him. Later, she asks M to accompany her to her wealthy brother, seeking financial help for the burial plot. However, he refuses, reminding her of the sacrifices she made without recompense. As Grandma's health declines, M lies to comfort her, telling her she's receiving symptom-based treatment. Meanwhile, King seeks her house deed, but she entrusts it to Soai, who sells it to clear his debts. M steps in, moving Grandma to his home, where he confronts his uncles about their selfish behavior. After Grandma's passing, M receives a call from the bank, learning she had saved money in his name from his childhood. He uses this money to buy her the large burial plot she had dreamed of, where the family gathers to honor her final wish. How to Make Millions Before Grandma Dies is a beautifully crafted film by director Pat Bunatitapat, exploring the depths of family bonds, transformation, and legacy. What begins as a quest for wealth for M transforms into a journey of self-discovery and true connection. Through its blend of humor and heartfelt moments, the film invites us to witness M's evolution from a wealth-driven young man to someone who values relationships and self-worth. Grandma is the heart of the story, teaching M invaluable lessons on life and family with her warmth and wisdom. The film's character development is a highlight, enhanced by beautiful cinematography and a nostalgic, soft score that draws viewers into the familial atmosphere. Critics have praised the film for its heartfelt storytelling, and rightfully so, it serves as a gentle reminder that love, patience, and understanding are life's true treasures. Ultimately, How to Make Millions Before Grandma Dies is a thoughtful, engaging movie that explores the inheritance of wisdom and compassion over material wealth, leaving audiences entertained, reflective, and touched by its message.